Hello, it's Linda here from Papercraft with Crafty. That's my Facebook page and that's where I will be posting up the link to this tutorial. It's also the page where I post up the links to all my other YouTube tutorials. Um, there you'll also find links to my online shop at Stamping Up um, and links to each of the products that I use for this particular box. Now, I've been working on this box this morning and I'm actually really, really pleased with it. Um, it might just look like an ordinary little box. Um, I made it because I wanted to have a box in order to be able to give these two little nail varnishes. Um, I do give nail varnishes to my lady friends who like having their nails done and manicures and things. Um, this little box is perfect size for those. Um, the nice little thing about this box is the fact that you don't need any glue for it. Um, so basically, I'll show you the principle on which it's put together. It's a little box, the template of which looks like that. Um, it's very, very simple to put together, um, but it's very sturdy at the same time. So I'm actually really pleased with this little contraption or invention of mine. Um, so I'm going to get on now and um, give you the instructions as to how to put it together. So what you're going to need is obviously a scoreboard this is my simply scored um, and you need a piece of cardstock this is um, rich raspberry by stamping up and your piece of cardstock should measure eight and a quarter inches by nine and one eighth of an inch um, so this was a sheet of a4 and I literally cut it at nine and one eighths of an inch so with the short side, the eight and a quarter side of your cardstock along the top here, you're going to do your scoring, we'll begin your scoring. Right, so your first score needs to be at two and five eighths of an inch. Your next score line should be at three and three quarters of an inch. Your next score line should be at six and three eighths of an inch. And your final score on this side of the card is at seven and a half inches. And then always your card around. Actually, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do it that way. Um, you want to score here at one and one eighth of an inch um, and all of the way down. And then your next score line is going to be at two and a quarter inches, but you are only going to score down to that first score line. So your score is going to look like that. Just pan out a bit for you. Um, and then your next score is going to be at three and three eighths of an inch and all of the way down. Then you want to score at five and five eighths of an inch. And then at six and seven eighths of an inch, but only down to that first score line as we did before. And then finally you want to score at eight inches all the way down. Okay, now what you need to do is just fold your card at that second score line like that okay and just pop it in at the top here and mark it at two and a quarter inches just lightly like that and mark it again at six and seven eighths of an inch like that okay so then what you can do is put it back in your score board and at that notch, just score down to that score line there. And the other notch, down to that score line. So you don't go all of the way down. So can you see, we've done that. Okay. Right. Now, what we're going to do is some cutting. So, grabbing my scissors, what I'll do is I'll just shade out the um, areas that you're not going to need to cut. So I'll just do that quickly. Um, so 
we're going to get rid of that and that and that this and this 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 that one you don't need that one you don't need that one or that one or that one so if you can see that the crosses there are the um, pieces of card that we're going to be snipping out so just zoom in a little bit now for you so we're going to get rid of these two here this one here and then we're going to cut all the way up to that score line no we're not sorry we're not at all don't listen to me we're going to cut just up to the first score line okay and the same with this one just snip up to that first score line then we're going to lose these three squares here which are marked up with an X here okay and then we're going to lose these three annoying me what your cardstock should now look like is that okay so that's the shape I'll turn it that way so now what you need to do is snip here and snip down here so those two rectangles if you like And do the same the other side and now you're just ready to do a little bit of um, creasing with your bone folder so you want to score all of the score lines so with these two bits on the outside here where you've got three rectangles the first one you want to score under like that so fold it under towards you and under and then fold in like that do the same with the other side so fold under and score and then over and score and then you just want to go around cardstock and do all of the other score lines all of them oh no hang on missed that one i think and i've missed that one all right so that's all of the the folding done um now what we're going to do is just cut out a few wedges now you need to cut a little wedge here and a little one here and then just do the same on the other side so just a little wedge like that oh i forgot to cut that one let's just snip up there 
and take this wedge out okay and then I'm just going to round off oops shouldn't have folded that there I'm just going to round off this little section here with where is it my little corner cutter so that in and do the same on the other side okay so now you are ready to assemble the box so what you do is you fold in those two flaps like that you bring your box up like this these two flaps come in so this is probably the trickiest bit of the whole thing. Okay. Bring up the sides and then fold over. Might be easier actually to lie the cardstock down. Let me just do it like that. Make that look far more difficult than it is <laughs> anyway so these come over and tuck down like that okay and then this little bit folds in and the little side panels come down and tuck in there like that okay so that's the box formed and now it's just a question of decorating it so to decorate this one I cut myself a piece of cardstock this is vanilla white um, and this is eight and a quarter by one and a half inches and then I've cut a little piece of um, satin cream ribbon stock here to the same size so I'm just going to stick that on there like that run it down and then just sit the box like that. I'm just going to make this into a belly band. So I'm going to bring the cardstock up and over and up and over. Okay, and then I'm going to stick this piece on. Um, let me think now. I'm done with my double sided tape. There we go. there which I didn't need and then it's going to bring this ribbon across and stick that down okay and then I've chosen to decorate it using this stamp set here which is called the six sided sampler set um, so you've got a little series of um, hexagons with three little um, uh, sentiments here thanks much hello sweet friend and my friend and I'm using the sentiment sweet friend for this um, I've already gone ahead and I've stamped up this one twice and I've cut it out using my hexagon um, punch it's my dog down there um, so I'm just going to stamp out the sentiment now on some vanilla white cardstock so I'm just going to stamp up a hexagon 
And I'm going to add my sentiment. I'll angle it like that. Okay. And then grabbing my hexagon punch. I've done that and angle. Let me just get rid of that bit of paper. I'm just going to cut the sentiment out like that. And I've got here my dimensionals and I'm just going to stick a couple on the back here. So I'm going to line up those two little hexagons like that, put my dimensions on the back. Okay, so they're like that. And I'm just going to sit that squarely over the top of them. So I've got that ready now to go on the belly band. Okay. So I'm just going to grab another couple of dimensionals, pop them on the back here, like that. Lay them across there like that. And I'm just going to finish off by punching out a couple of, well, three little flowers with this little floral punch from the Itty Bitty stamp set. So one, two and three. And I've got here some little pearls. And I'm just going to, whoops, pop one on each of the flowers. She said. Oh, not very good at these fiddly bits. Right. There we go. And then simply fold up the petals, give it a little bit of dimension, and pop on a few glue dots. So one, two, and three and then just dot them around my box like that okay so that's my little project for today I do hope you liked it um, I do think they make sweet little boxes and like I said you could put jewellery um, treats of any sort in there really little ones anyway anyway thank you for watching um, and I will be back with another tutorial for you later on in the week thanks